Hi, my name is Teresa Nemeshani. I am CEO and co-founder of Honestly Now. Honestly Now is a social game that helps us all make excellent personal decisions um, with the help of our friends and experts. Um, I honestly believe that if everybody plays this, uh, the world will be a lot better by being honest with each other and by asking great questions. I had uh, quite a bit of business experience already, had worked at a startup that was very successful and then was in consulting for a long time. But the inspiration actually came from a rather difficult point in my life. I had gotten married and had my first child, and very shortly after, my father, who'd been sick for a long time, passed away. And weeks afterward, um, we were actually, um, we learned that my mother um, had terminal stomach cancer. She had an explosive growth tumor in her stomach. Um, she passed away just uh, months after that. So I went from being kind of at the top of the world to being in extreme caregiver mode and then, um, frankly, being very alone. I was um, a member of an immigrant family. We were very tight. And I had a newborn and more questions than I'd ever had. And the, the support structure I'd relied upon um, wasn't there for me anymore. So I started to ask friends for advice. And I never felt completely confident that they were in a position to tell me what they really thought about what I should do. So I kind of stepped back and um, took what I knew about market research and about gaming and how we make decisions and um, thought, well, could I help my friends to help me by making it a game, um, making it really kind of fun and delightful for them to answer my beck and call when I need it. And that was really uh, the birthplace of Honestly Now. So an example of a smart girl strength, I think, would first of all be intuition. Um, I've always relied very much on my intuitive capabilities, and that's been throughout my career, but certainly it's been tested as an entrepreneur. Um, the vision for Honestly Now uh, really does come from an intuitive place. There's not a lot of market data uh, behind it, but I, I believe from, from a commonsensical standpoint that we all have decisions to make every single day, and we can we can build our confidence around them, and that women instinctively uh, reach out to their friends for feedback to support their decision making. And by the way, that's not to say that they need to do what their friends say, but it's kind of helpful for them to just know. They may go with the crowd or they may choose to be contrarian. So um, I really very, very strongly believe that, um, that this instinct is there, and I'm kind of willing to die on the sword for it. <laughs> and, and I really do believe that the world will be better if, we're, if we um, get better at asking really awesome questions and we just get more honest uh, you know, with ourselves and with each other. So um, yeah, at the end of the day, I would say that this business is grounded in intuition. Now the second strength, I think, is weaving. Um, partially um, f demonstrated by what it's taken to get the business to where it is now. Um, but also because a bit of the core of the business itself involves weaving. We're literally connecting people that have questions and people have, that have answers that otherwise wouldn't have come together. And it is completely delightful to watch that happen. Um, it's a little bit like a virtual dinner party that's happening every single day. Um, I can't tell you how much fun it is when someone comes you know, with a question that really means a lot to them. And I may not have anticipated that you know, Cowboy Butler or Montgomery Fraser, or um, they're, they're some of our um, expert, um, our, our experts, um, can really, you know, come to save them, <laughs> you know, help, help them out. Um, and, and kind of everyone wins from that transaction, and that's, that has everything to do with weaving. So um, that's something I'm proud of. Keep trying. If you really believe in it, keep trying, keep poking at it different ways. And when someone says no, it's, it may very well be a not right now. Um, it was really interesting to hear other people introduce me to others later on, saying, oh, she's a really strong CEO. And these might have been people who said no to me before. Um, or they've come back and said, you know, we've just watched you grow it and go after it, and you've hit milestones, and that's really impressive. And I may not have considered that they might be contenders, but actually it turned out that they were. 
Um, persistence really counts a lot in entrepreneurship, so don't underestimate that. And women can really be persistent when we set our minds to it. So, you know, if you've got the strength, just, you know, pull it out and keep going because it does pay off. Well, we really just recently closed a round of funding, so having, um, you know, grabbed the baton on that, the next leg of the race is just starting. So I'm really excited that we just relaunched our product, and I'm so eager to see it um, get into the market and watch people interacting uh, with it. I think there are a lot of um, questions and interactions that I'm excited to be involved in that I think we can actually have on my Honestly Now platform that weren't necessarily able um, to happen in the analog world or on conventional um, forums and, and blog boards and stuff like that. Um, I am a mother of two daughters and I'm a wife and those roles are really super important to me. So weaving um, that into my business and vice versa is very important to me. I like to find opportunities where I can bring at least my older daughter with me to see me in action, be it a pitch or a presentation, or you know, see other innovative stuff out there. Um, I'm, I'm really passionate about um, fostering the next generation of women's entrepreneurship and showing by doing. So if there's a long-term vision that I want to be involved in, that, that's what it would be.